In today's video, we will learn about what is a proxy server. When people talk about a proxy server, in most of the cases, they are referring to a forward proxy. Let's understand what this particular server does. A forward proxy provides proxy services to a client or group of clients. Often, these clients belong to a common internal network as shown here. When one of these clients make a connection attempt to that file transfer server, the requests have to pass through the forward proxy. Depending upon the proxy settings, a request can be allowed or denied. If allowed, then the request is forwarded to the firewall and then to the file transfer server. From the point of view of file transfer server, it is the proxy server that is requesting the information, not the client. So when the server responds, it addresses the forward proxy. But when the forward proxy receives the response, it recognizes it as a response to the request that went through earlier. And then it sends the response back to the client that made the request. Because proxy servers can keep track of requests, responses, their sources, their destinations, different clients can send out VDA requests to different servers through the forward proxy and this proxy will be intermediate for them. So, a proxy server is a system or router that provides a gateway between your clients and servers. That's why it is referred to as intermediary server. So your proxy server can be a single point of access and control, making it easier for you to enforce authentication, SSL encryption or any other security policies. A forward proxy is used in tandem with firewall to enhance an internal network security by controlling the traffic that is originating from clients in your internal network and directed towards the hosts that are outside your network. Thus, from a security standpoint, a forward proxy is primarily aimed at enforcing security on client computers in your private network. Now that we have talked about a forward proxy, let's understand what is a reverse proxy. As the name implies, a reverse proxy does the exact opposite of what a forward proxy does. While a forward proxy proxies on behalf of clients or requesting hosts, a reverse proxy proxies on behalf of servers hidden behind it. A reverse proxy accepts requests from external clients on behalf of servers stationed behind it. As shown here, it accepts a request from a client, forwards it to the server that can fulfill it and returns the response back to the client. Just like forward proxy servers, reverse proxy servers also provide single point of access and control. You typically set it up to work alongside one or two firewalls to control the traffic and requests directed to your internal servers. You can think of the reverse proxy as a website's public face. Its address is the one that is advertised to the clients. Here, the benefits are twofold. First one being increased security. No information about your backend server is visible outside your internal network. So malicious clients cannot access them directly to exploit them. Many reverse proxies include features that help protect your backend servers from distributed denial of service attacks. For example, they can reject traffic from a particular client IP addresses or limiting the number of connections accepted from each client. It also increases your scalability and flexibilities because these clients can only see the IP address of your reverse proxy. You are free to change the configuration of your backend infrastructure. This is very useful in a load balanced environment where, where you can scale the number of servers up and down to match the fluctuating traffic volume. In most of the cases, 
the reverse proxy can also act as load balancers for the servers behind them load balancers play a very crucial role in providing high availability in network services that receive large volume of requests when a reverse proxy performs load balancing it distributes incoming requests to the cluster of services all providing the same kind of service for more details on load balancer check the description for my video on load balancers in summary the key difference between a reverse proxy and forward proxy is that a forward proxy enables computers on the isolated private network to connect to the public internet while a reverse proxy enables computers on the internet to access a private subnet thanks for watching this video